Well, welcome to our ride on mower. It's a Rover Rancher, 17 horsepower, 42 inch cut. I'll open the bonnet up here, show you a few of the features to start with. There's the fuel tank right at the very top, takes unleaded fuel. Then there's a fuel tap that's down the bottom that allows petrol to run to the carburetor. I'll show you that in more detail in a few moments. There's a foot brake you need to be aware of. You have to be able to press that to start the, the thing. Uh, that's the gearbox which allows forward, neutral and reverse. Over the other side of the mower, there's a couple of levers. This is the the uh, deck height adjustment, and uh, this is your speed control. Press that forward, attention some belts, and away you go. This is your dash panel, the throttle up in the top right-hand corner. It's in idle position right now, but usually run at maximum when cutting. And the uh, clutch, the power takeoff clutch, is the thing that activates the blades, turns them on and off. Of course, you've got your brake and your speed control. There's your fuel, undo the cap, you fill it up with unleaded fuel. This is your oil dipstick, it allows you to check if you oil. This engine doesn't use any oil, it really runs really well, but it's a good idea to check. There's your fuel tap now, that turns your fuel on, turn that to the, hor turn the, to the horizontal position, allows fuel to flow into the carburetor, and uh, we're ready to go. Let's get into the saddle. Now remember with these mowers they have safety switches on them. You have to be sitting in the seat for it to start and for the motor to run and in this case to start you actually have to press the brake on there first. You do not, don't have to change gears. I'm just selecting neutral in this particular case. But the foot has to be on the brake and you have to be sitting there. By the way that power takeoff um, button has to be pressed down also. This is your throttle control, just leave it on there in the idle position, start it in the idle position, crank it over just like you would your car, and uh, away you go. Hopefully that motor's running. Now at this point you can take your foot off the brake and not touch it again. This is the lever that adjusts your height of your deck for the cutting height of your grass, and as I said I've got a mark there on uh, that position and it's on about a level 6, and that's about ideal for our grass level. Now, if I press that uh, lever for I'm going to move forward. Now, I'm in neutral at the moment. I, you can't see it, but my left hand quickly flicks over there and pushes it into forward gear. And now I'm moving forward. Sometimes it's a little jerky when it starts because the belt's grip. But I wouldn't run that when I'm mowing. I'd be pushing that as hard, as hard forward. We'd be going as maximum speed I can, which is not very fast, by the way. There's your forward and reverse lever. If you want to go backwards, you go into reverse. By the way, you can't do that with the mower blades going. If you do that with the blades going, the safety switches will cut your blades off. They will stop and stop your blades from spinning. And you'll have to push the clutch in and pull it back up again. Now we're in the forward gear, ready to go. Okay, this is where I make sure the throttle is back to idle. And now I'm going to engage the blade. Always change when you're using the clutch. Always put a habit in idle. You don't want to be revving it too hard. Otherwise, it just wears the clutch out too quickly. So now the blades are running. I'm in forward gear. All I have to do is put my right foot on the uh, on the on the speed lever on the pedal and control my speed. Back off on the pedal. I slow down, push it down, and it goes faster. As I say, when I'm mowing, I've got that push forward as far as you can go. Now to stop, once you go to stop, the first thing you do is you pull your thr throttle right down to idle before disengaging your blades. Then disengage the blades by pressing the button in, then turn the key off, and usually I remove the key and just uh, store it in the shed so kids don't pull it out and lose the key for you or muck around with the mower. Then we turn the fuel off to the carburetor and... Uh, that's that's all there is to it. Quite easily done. Now this house uses sewerage treatment plant, uh, which is quite sophisticated, but it runs grey water out into the backyard out in this area here. Usually those hoses are removed when you're mowing, but the big thing is a lot of people forget to put those hoses back in. So please don't forget, the first thing you do after you finish mowing is go and replace both grey water hoses and uh, everything will be sweet. That's about it. Happy mowing. Bye-byes.